welcome, gentlemen. You both well? Yeah, I didn't have time to change, sorry. Um, <laughs> you just I... left the house. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you look lovely. <laughs> Looking over at Elton's uh, outfit, and the, just there's every inch of you has another amazing moment. <laughs> right here, the crown. <laughs> Down the leg, the golden, the golden bedazzlement. But then the shoes, I just shoes. realized. The man Sorry. who made the shoes is in the audience. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Where's the shoe maker? Patrick, where are you, Patrick? He's over there. He's over there. He's over there. Patrick Cox is one of the greatest shoemakers in the world. No. And he was... Have you ever heard of the wannabe shoe? Oh, it, no. yeah. No. 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 But, well, it was a huge shoe, and Patrick invented it, and he's made almost eight shoes, and he's a great cobbler. Also, cox is one of my favourite words. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, that's like, you are a proper Elton John fan. I am. It, it's actually, from the beginning, I've been uh, uh, obsessed. I kind of wish I was Elton John. <laughs> Feel like that, sing like that. But no, what, I read in an interview where the, the whole interview, they kept asking you questions, and all you could do was sing an Elton John song that you couldn't remember. Well, I, there, I, I have a trouble remembering lyrics just in general. I remember jams, I remember the tunes. Right. But do you remember the one with, that you did that goes like, it's just you singing and piano, and I was like, How do you? How do you? Where do you? Wait, this part. Right, go on. Upon a tiny song with a one eyed danger zone, take me to the final. Oh, yeah. Gotcha now. Take me to the pilot. So there you go. Good. Hey, there you go. go. Yeah, this guy is, is great. I mean, you've all seen School of Rock anyway, but I mean, this guy's a real music guy, so I love him. You know? Oh, excellent. Take me to the pilot, please. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I want to get to the hook. Now, Here's the thing, Jack Black, you've just got back from, uh, is it Korea you were in? I was in Korea and China, yeah, we went on. Doing Kung Fu Panda? We were doing Kung Fu Panda promotion, yeah. Because <laughs> it does seem odd because it's a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> I know where you're going. Yeah. It's not my voice, they got a Chinese person doing the voice. It's not my face, it's a cartoon. Why am I there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, because they, I think it helps to have a bona fide Hollywood legend there. <laughs> and then I do a high five to the Chinese actor and I pass the torch and I don't know why I'm there. <laughs> Fun trip. <laughs> <laughs> have your have your children seen Kung Fu Panda? I went to the first one. I took my godsons, Dave, uh, Brooklyn Beckham, um, and all the Beckham boys. We went to the Cinerama Dome in Hollywood uh, on Sunset Boulevard, and we had a blast. And they were in the back of the car. Um, there's Romeo, Cruz, and Brooklyn, um, and they said, "Uncle Elton." I said, "Yes." <laughs> you write songs, don't you? And I went, "Yeah." He said, "Sing us one." <laughs> And I said, what do you do? And so I just, I sang, so, you wrote The Lion King? Oh, that's great. So, sing a circle of life then. So <laughs> the, it was fantastic. And the film was great. <laughs> and, and it was just a great experience. <laughs> that, it's a, such a fun movie. And is it a pout or is it a, a jaw? It's, it's a combination of, of, it's really a, is it tightened? Okay. <laughs> Okay, now we should all get it. Okay, okay. 